What if Atlantis was just what they used to call the global collection of known cities and nations on Earth back then, some 20,000 years ago? Similar to how an atlas is basically a map of the Earth, with all the known nations and cities. So, before some major global disaster killed off most of the people and large mammals that lived on the planet, all these nations and cities would have existed, when race and racial identity was not only about skin tone, eye color and hair color, but represented much more significant physical differences, from differences in entire bone structure, skull size, and even longer lifespan due to certain DNA admixture such that the difference between races and tribes would have seemed as significant as the difference between Neanderthals, Denisovans, and humans. But when later peoples, the descendants of who survived, learned verbally about the legacy of those fallen civilizations, they misinterpreted what the word gods actually meant back then, which might have been the term used to classify great rulers, army generals, ministers or outstanding soldiers and to align their names with specific aspects of nature to highlight their achievements, or their prowess in certain areas. So, Poseidon the god of the sea might have just been an amazing captain that commanded an entire fleet of ships across the sea, or he invented the harpoon that all nations adapted for fishing on a large scale, which might have brought to an end a widespread famine that took many lives. It implies that Atlantis may have been a center of advanced civilization, Find out more in our book, link in bio or pinned comment.